Ah, hello. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Uh, oh, <laughs> and as you can see in the bottom right, I've just sold everything out of my inventory, one at a time. I still can't find the sell-all option. I think you sell all your junk, whatever that means. So for the next ten minutes or so, it'll be telling me how I've sold all these bits. So feel free to ignore that whilst we take on a job. None of which are easy, look, they're all long. Whatever. So we've got another Del Boy impersonator. That's got some mud on it, so presumably they'll need whole new panels. Oh, that little red bit through there looked really mean. It's the top of the engine, presumably. Uh, one of the things we had to do, I noticed on this job, was to paint uh, it. And apparently the paint uh, shop has been updated slightly, so I don't know if it's going to be any better at all. We shall see. I'm not really sure I should allow paint this horrific, sort of, was it, ochre poo, to be, uh, <laughs> I don't know, the night after a really intense vindaloo. Uh, it doesn't look particularly appealing. Anyway, onwards. Replace engine oil and filter. That's easy. Brake problems. Fairly straightforward. Bonnel panel, bonnel panel plunts. Yeah, I can't even say it. And spray it. Okay, this is a bit easier than I expected. So let's stick it on the uh, lifters. Okay, press the wrong button every time. Uh, so brakes. So basically, we need to poke all the four corners. I can't be honest. Take on a test drive. It's uh, just not really worth the effort. You gotta take the corners off to get out all the brakes anyway, so you might as well just sort of do it as part of the process. Yeah, brakes, brakes, brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Do 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 do. Oh, I have no idea. There's something in my cornflakes this morning perhaps. Uh, uh no, I know you're not interested, but I didn't actually have cornflakes, I had bacon. Oh yes. The best of meats. Right, anyway. Oh yes, we need to take that off. Can we get that? No, it's in the engine bay. Uh, let's do it whilst we're thinking about it. Oop. Uh, we need one. Oh, I have to take the module off first. Tiny, tiny distant bolt. <laughs> oh, that's knackered as well. It's all part of the brake system. Right, rear corners. These wheels look pretty flash. In fact, the whole car looks in pretty good nick, apart from the sort of eight parts of it which aren't. Uh, now these are all knackered. Okay, good. Next corner. Nope, oh, there we go. Inability to click on wheel causes mechanic to lose job. Right, oh no, I know what I'm doing. Oh, it's a brand new caliper, look. What's that on? We pressed the one caliper out of all the corners, and the rest of the brakes are absolutely fucked. Uh, well, I hope they didn't bring it here for the previous brake service. Uh, otherwise, my pronouncement that the previous guy who worked on this was a nightmare uh, might be uh, <laughs> might be a bit embarrassing. Right, so that's all the brake parts. Oh, right, let's take these off. Repair door, front left door, front right door. Is that opposed to the rear doors? All right. And what else? Oh, it doesn't remember where you are, does it? I remember that. Left tail light, right tail light. Oh, headlight, trunk. Left tail, right headlight. Is that the right headlight? No, left headlight. Oh, it's got the ones that reveal. I like those. Uh, can we tell which one? Oh, yeah, you can tell which one by looking at that. And the trunk, I believe, is the other item. Okay, that's all those off. So let's. Oh, yeah, we haven't changed or drained the oil. Change the oil filter, drain the oil. Right, let's save ourselves a hundred bucks by getting our special little oil buddy. Let's clip it to the front of our dress, and then we get it underneath this little hole here, which is the oil drain. So make it so that you're almost directly underneath it, and then press escape to drop this. Just double check from the side that it's above, which it kind of just about is, and then... Uh, and the only way you can tell if it went in is because you're not charged a hundred dollar for the uh, mess that you have to clean up. Wow, it's a bit of a square and blocky shadow, isn't it? It's like someone's taking a bite out of the centre. Was that supposed to be because where the oil came out? <laughs> There's no actual hole here for the light to come through. Uh, anyway, I need to find the oil filter, which is usually on the bottom somewhere. There we go. And then, I think, I'm ready to purchase some bits. So we need an oil filter V8. Uh, oil filter V8. Well, I was look, made it look like I knew what I was doing. Oil <laughs> filter V8. Yeah, anyone who regularly watches this is not going to be fooled. ABS module, ABS pump. Brakes. One of them. One of them. 
three. Was it three? I'm not even thinking about this. The fact that I only saw one good one. Yeah. I shouldn't trust my uh, instincts though. They're usually a bit varied. Two normals and two ventilated brake discs. So one, two, three. Oh, three. Nope. Come on. Clicking. It's an important part of the job, clicking. So if I stop being able to, I might lose my job. And four brake pads. One. And body panels. This is a Del Boy impersonator. So let's get to the body shot. Del Boy. Del Boy impersonator. Right. Del Rey impersonator. Front left door. Front right door. Uh, left tail light. Uh, right headlight trunk. Ah, oh, how about that for memory? Most people are going, yeah, well, easy. But you know, for me, that was impressive. Right, okay, let's put all those bits back on the car. Uh, so, starting off with an oil filter, and then brakes, 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 brakes. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I've got that song on my head. It's not exactly a good song. Not that that matters when it comes to earworms, because, you know, if you wouldn't call it an earworm and be frustrated about it if it was a song you really enjoyed singing all the time. It's like, yeah, I'm singing that cool song again, because I'm awesome, and that song is awesome, and together we are awesomes. Now, usually it's going, oh, why am I singing this god awful song? Like, Timmy Mallet. Who knows what I mean when I say Timmy Mallet? That's right, the Wide Awake Club from the, sort of, was it early 90s, late 80s? And he released a song. <laughs> he did. Uh, he did a version, presumably, well, no, it's not it presumably, it is a cover version of Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. Uh, which I do tend to find I have on the brain quite a lot at the moment. Uh, yes, if only there was help for that, yeah. Oh, dear. Doctor, Doctor, and... Oops. I'm singing the Tilly Mallet, Timmy Mallet song all the time. i probably just get in put away. Bang you up in the padded room. Uh, padded room. Not padded. Padded. Padded sounds racist. Uh, good. Right, so we just have those brake modules to pop back on. Oh, they're usually on this side in engines, but over here. Oh. There we go. An abs module and an abs uh, pump, whatever it was. There we go, and then we can install the bodywork. I have to press the button every time we move, so I have to keep pressing two, and then yeah. two, yeah. and yeah. Okay, so that's that all done. Double check everything's green. No. Oh, I haven't placed the oil, have I? Silly boy. So let's do that, and then we can paint this mother. Yeah, if only we could paint it a good colour. Right. Usual trick, you pour the oil till the oil can's had enough, then a touch more for middle oil. There we go. And then you double check how awesome you are by pulling out the dipstick. You go, yes. Look at that, yes, you say to yourself. Uh, and then you paint this mofo. So let's move it to the paint shop. That's right. For the paint shop, we decided to make doors big enough that we can actually drive it straight in. Path test, not so much. It's amazing how fiddly it is getting the car on its side, pushing it through. Anyway. So, do we have an option? Ooh, look, you can do nothing. Okay. <laughs> choose factory colour. I like that. So, like, what? Have I chosen it? Is Did I choose this sort of shit orange colour? What, what is it? Uh, whatever. So little to do in this room. It's such a... Either I've missed everything that there is meant to. I can move these up and down, but Christ, who cares? Oh, can I actually make it a different colour? No. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> you can choose a different colour, but not if you actually want to finish the job. But maybe that'll be useful for when I paint my own car brilliant purple or something, which I'm bound to do. Okay, good. That's all of that. I've done all those. They're all green. We've earned a little bit of money. Oh, we've earned quite a bit of money actually. Look. We've only spent about 
two or three grand. Oh, it tells us here, does it? Money spent on job four two. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. We get a bonus of almost double that. I'm a happy camper. That was a relatively quick job, so let's see if there's anything really quick in. Uh, no. The engine is working, but it's choppy. Uh, timing needs replacing. That's relatively fiddly. Knocking noises, change oil, filters, brake system, repair or gearbox faults. Let's, uh, let's risk it. Let's risk it for a biscuit. I like biscuits. Oh, that was quick loading, wasn't it? Cranky. Maybe it's because it's only so tiny. These little mallocks are quite sweet. Look at it. Look at it with this horrible brown plastic chair, uh, chairs. Seats, that's what they call. <laughs> right, the engine is working, but it's choppy. Right, let's do some tests. Oops, that's not how you access the engine. Where's the engine? Oh, awesome. Right, so we go into uh, examine mode. Oh, we can't do that yet. There we go. have to click on it. Examine mode, and then we can run these things. It doesn't have an ODBD port. There we go. It can blow up its ass, though. All cars like that. <laughs> you can see the smoke coming out of various places. Look. Good. And then there's the other test. What's this again? Oh, yeah, the random number test. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. It's where we fire electric at the car and some of it sparks and glows blue and we know which bits need replacing or it shows you a list like this no. good fuel pump is that the fuel pump there no, it is oh. Can I take it off now no uh... oh do you have to be in disassemble mode to take it off no still can't take it off because of stuff I don't understand how this engine works good alright so uh... did that Recognise some of the parts. Yeah, okay. Can we put it on the path test? I'm not sure if we should really care about that, but let's give it a go. Oh, no, it's the engine problems we have with this, isn't it? That's not really going to help. Strange noises from the engine bay. Alright, let's just get to work stripping this engine down. That's what we need to do. I don't really understand this engine. How do we get this bit out? Oh, you do just click on it. Oh, I was doing it wrong somehow. Was I in assemble mode instead of dissemble mode? Sort of stupid thing I do. Alright. Just get against the timing. Oh wow. I'm cracking. Uh, is this going to require me to have drained the oil, do you think? I don't know. I don't really care if I pay $100 to not have to bother with all that crap. No, that's fine. Uh, timing cover. Oh look, just, you know. Surely this just needs a clip. I mean, how's this going to fall off? It's all made out of cardboard, isn't it? I shouldn't be nasty about small cars. Right, yeah, this is pretty knackered. Let's take off the... Oh. Really? You take off the cam gear, even though it's got the chain round it first? Alright, whatever. So, uh... Still not discovered that part. Oh, and timing needs replacing. That's what I wanted to look at. Oh, I found all those bits. Alright, this whole engine looks pretty dead. It's a proper strip down. I just don't know how these engines work. Whoops, taking something off. <laughs> they all require something else to be removed. That's that bit. Oh, rocker arms. Oil tube cover, really. Yeah. These individuals? No. These bits, this bit, this bit. So this bit comes off first. Oh, and this has got the clips here. Okay, here we go. Clip malloc. So that's the oh, that's all the air filter I see. I don't think I'd really appreciated that. So now we can get the carb. Uh, yeah. All right. So this bit definitely needs replacing. We've got to take off everything else first. Rear mm. fan cover. Oh, we've got to take off this first. This tiny little engine. All packed in on top of itself. Alright, well, this looks pretty dead. Right, you've got to take off all the bits before you can get to the other bits. Mm. Oop, right, spark plug. Is it a V2? Is it just the two sparks? Mr. Spacho. So what's this? Thermostat cover. Alright. Oh, that looks knackered. Distro cap. Uh, the distributor looks a bit shafted. Alright. Good. Oh, look at these. Valve rod. Oh, push rods. 
These look different colours, is that a problem? 9%, oh, that's not a good number. Uh, do we take this off? Take the front off. I'll take that off. No, we're taking this off. Alright, it's a generator. Is that like an alternator, I wonder? Well, this is a distinctly different engine to the previous engine the other end cars have, so that, that's interesting. I can't take this off yet. Take the exhaust manifold off, we'll take this off. Wow, it's just the exhaust, this weird contraption. It looks like a Hoover. Yeah, from the 60s. <laughs> wow. Piece of ghost-busting equipment or something. Right, now we can get off the manifold for the exhaust. Does that let us leave this yet? No, because it's still connected to whatever this is. Rear fan cover. Just a couple of bolts. I like the state of this. Where does that go? Whatever. Right, so can we take the head off yet? No. Do we still need to take off some more? Oh, there's another manifold for the exhaust. <laughs> Two exhaust manifolds either side. And then finally, we can take off this sort of engine block bit. Or head. Which obviously needs replacing. As does this bit, cylinder. I'll just take out piston with conrod. Uh, I presume we have to drain the oil before we can take those out. Alright, that looks a bit dead. Can't be had. What's this? Gearbox from underneath. Uh, maybe they're not too bad. Right, what are we doing here? The engine's working. We've got all those. Got that. Oh, we've got everything. Even though the rest of it looks knackered. Alright. I guess. Can we examine this? Is that really. It's 11%, surely it has to come off. Oh, actually, I know about it, but I haven't removed it. That's why I'm getting confused. Okay, right. So, yes, let's uh, stick it on a... Let's press the right button one time. It would be great if I did it one time. And stick it up in the air. Although, seriously, you can just lift it up with one hand. Especially now half the engine's coming out. Right, yeah, it looks like we're going to be draining oil. So, let's get the oil buddy. Where is the oil drain? There it is. One little oil drain. So get yourself almost underneath it. Press escape. And then check that you're sort of... Yeah, I'll, I'll do. Oops. Mm. That's pretty fresh, the oil, actually. That's quite a lot of it. Right, good. Thank you very much, oil buddy. He's over there next to your toolbox friend. Alright, and then I need to remove the oil pan. Get to the bottom of these pistons. Now, why can't I remove accessible from engine bay? I see. So I had to drain the oil pan. I don't know if I had to remove the oil pan or not, but uh, open the engine at the back. So now can we remove these? Yes, okay, fair enough. Uh, whatever that is. Cylinder. Oh, okay. Um, that bit doesn't look very healthy. Is that small cam gear? Is that on the list? Do, 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 do. Small cam gear, yeah. So let's take that off. I don't get the chain off. And then I just take that off. Okay, that's very easy. Alright, uh, I think I can go right ahead and hope that that's all of it. Don't need any starter motor, do we? No. Alright, let's buy all this stuff. The front fan cover was making the strange noise. That seems strange. Well, that's about... covers it really, doesn't it? Right, um, car parts, engine. What do we need? We need carburetor malloc. Can we... Filter it all for malloc, that'd be nice. Uh, in fact, the malloc stuff's not even here. That's because I'm in the wrong place. Oh, yeah. Okay, engine. Here we go. Once again, carburetor, malloc. Carburetor, malloc. Two times cylinder and an engine head. Two times cylinder. Engine head. Um, uh, engine head, yeah. Fuel pump. 
fuel pump. Various ignition parts. A distributor, distributor cap, distributor rotor. Distribution distributor, distributor cap. What else is it? Distributor cap and rotor. Distributor cap rotor. Right. Uh, ignition wires, piston with conrod. Ignition wires, piston with conrod. Uh, spark plug and three valve push rods. Spark plug and three valve push rods. One, two, three. Alright, next job. Strange noise of thing. Uh, front fan cover. Front fan cover and some timing stuff. Some cam gear, small cam gear. Cam gear. Small cam gear. Oop, there it is. And timing chain. Alright. And now the reverse. Uh, engine head. It's bolt there, uh, just screw. Uh, nuts, even. The word, the word I'm looking for, just that word. Uh, some push rods. Carbomaretta. Manifold, Captain Manifold, Captain Manifold. Ignition distributor, rotor arm, cap. Don't have to clip it on even. Wow, awesome. Eggs morphed with its many bolts and a strange 60s Hoover like appearance. There we go. Uh, the ignition wire, no, what else do we put on next? Why can't I highlight? Oh, I was say, why can't I highlight anything? Oh, I haven't actually finished vaulting on the, the exhaust. Alright, rear fan cover. That looks nice. Uh, but a nice fresh front one to get rid of those engine noises. There we go. Top fan cover. Oh, yeah, it's the best of fans. Oh, I've seen every one of your shows. Oh, I've got 15 of your autographs. Uh huh. Go on, go in, you little fooker. There we go. Right, one air filter, one air filter cover with its various clips. Clips. Can't quite see the clips. There we go. Alright, and one thermostat cover. Whatever fudge that is. Get in there, yeah, little bastards. I'm gonna hammer these fuckers in, in a minute. Come on. In your pop. Alright, what's left? Is that it? Oh, timing gear, I remember. So, uh, oops. Small gear. Chain. Slightly strangely before. Cam gear. It might be that you could slide it on and then adjust its tautness. That's, that's how some of these things work. It just seems strange. But I know another thing, certainly about these tiny little cars. Engine in the back like an old Volkswagen Beetle. Uh -huh. And then that on top. Uh, oh, and all the bolts for that. And then it's pulley. Does that not have a cover? No. Is that everything? Is that all of it? No. Ignition wires and spark plugs. Oh yeah. Oh crap, am I supposed to put them in? Have I covered it all up and I can't put the things in I need to put in? Oh, oh there we go. Spark plug. There's a little gap, look. A little, little tiny gap. Spark plug. And ignition wires on top of that. Alright, cool. 
Wow, there's just little weird cables everywhere. It's a strange little car. Right, good. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's see if that's the job done. No, oil pan. Yeah, it'll want that, won't it? Uh, otherwise, all the oil will fall out. And that just reminds me, of course, something else I've done is put that oil back in. <laughs> okay, right. So, we need one oil pan. And then to fill it up with the nice oil stuff that cars like so much. So, oils. Where does the oils go? Alright, oil fill plug. Now, that's a big one. Alright, usual procedure here. Just a touch more. And where's the drain? Uh, the dip, dipples, stickles. It's usually on the opposite side to the uh, oil filler, but uh, rear rubber buffer. Hmm. Uh, no obvious sign of it. Fuel filter. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty confident I've filled it up the right amount of oil, so I shouldn't worry about it, but you'd expect it to be a dipstick somewhere, I'm just not seeing it. I feel like I'm being a bit of a dipstick. <laughs> Whatever. Oops. I've decided I don't care. Stop clicking on the engine. I'm trying to close the hood. Good. All right. Well, mm, let's see if that's job done. Yeah, good enough for me. Awesome. All right. Thanks for watching that. We've earned a bit more money. We've got almost 20k now. And one day, one day we'll go to the auction and buy our own car. One day. <laughs>